Good morning, Jan. Good morning. Hey, great to see you. You too. So, finally your gun's arrived. So it's all been spec to your dimensions. We can uh, have a little practice mounting it up, see how it comes up. If there's any minor adjustments that we need to make with the, with the comb height or, or the offset, we can do that. Okay, um, that's brilliant. Let's give it a go. Great, let's try it again. Okay, it's a little bit high on your shoulder. Let's try it again. Good. To actually practice your gun mounting in front of a mirror mm -hmm. is, is a great thing to do. Um, so you're perfecting your body positionment and then your head positionment so that you can consistently mount the gun at whatever the angle you're looking at. Irrespective of having a gun you know, custom built to fit you, the gun will only fit you if you consistently mount it properly. Yeah. At the moment, you've, the gun's arrived, which is fantastic. And the great thing now is if we give you a, a basic routine to, to practice at home, it's going to great, greatly help your shooting. It'll basically accelerate things. And to, to create a more consistent gun mount is, is really the key to, to good shooting. Okay. So if you just have, have basically three practice mounts, one below eye level, one at eye level, and one at 45 degrees, so that you can consistently mount that gun. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, and then come up to eye level. Keep the head forwards. Great. A little bit high in the shoulder, isn't it? Yeah. And I seem to do that more at this, when I'm mounting at, at head level. Yes. Rather than high or low. Exactly. Um, but being aware of that, I suppose that's how you can work on it and Good. try and correct it. Exactly. And then try a 45 degree angle. Good. Just remember to turn your head, you remember, to the, right, to the right, and that guarantees your eye is going to be central over the breech. If you don't, irrespective of stock foot, you'll tend to be a little bit down the left-hand side of the rib with the eye. Okay. And that's better. The icing on the cake is, is a custom-built stock, but, but master your gun mounting in your head position, and, and everything else will take care of you. All right? Okay. So, so a really, really good little routine is, is to... With your new gun, you, you'll be surprised. You're supplied with a pair of snap caps. Snap caps mm -hmm. are it's, it's dummy cartridges, um, so that you can release the springs if you're storing the gun and you're not using it. So you can put the snap caps in. Obviously, not live ammunition. Pop the snap caps in. Pull the trigger. Release the safety catch and pull again. And that basically drops the hammer, so that you're not, so that you haven't got any tension on the on the on the on the springs when you're leaving the gun for storage. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's what they're used for. The, the other great thing about snap caps is you can, you can actually train with them. So if I just show you a little, little training routine, mm -hmm. um, so check your barrels are clear before you pop the snap caps in. Make sure they are snap caps and obviously not live ammunition. Um, and then again, you can practice that you, your routine in front of the mirror. So, so a low angle, a, a, a head height angle, and a, a slightly higher angle and just practice this so you actually get used to um, you're mounting the gun and actually physically taking the, taking the shot um, but without um, you know w without the recoil with the live ammunition and then you can practice so you've practiced sort of low crossing right low crossing left sort of head height and then you can do the same at, at you know at a higher angle above mm. 45 degrees. You know, so that you you're basically polishing your your body position, your head position. So you're um, training all those things to become second nature, subconscious. So I'm not actually thinking about all of those uh, exactly elements. Um, you know, you can use your imagination. And you can do it in the comfort of your own home and train to your heart's content. It's very smooth and deliberate rather than thinking, oh, right, right well, let's come, come on, let's just get the job done. Are you with me? Yeah, that, yeah. So have another practice. Okay. Um, 
but try and mimic what you saw. Let's see if we can see if it makes a difference. Okay. So that was a lot better, but it was probably four times faster than I moved the gun. All right. Okay. So if you slow it right down. I mean that's chalk and cheese. But the second one is harder to do because you've You've been deliberate with obviously weighting, you know, the, obviously the gun weighs X, so you've got weight in both hands. And to do it smoothly and deliberately, it takes effort. But when you're training, it, every movement of that gun mountain movement, the different angles, wants to be smooth and deliberate. That's really the key to consistency. Okay. So the only thing that's going to change is, is the speed, range, and angle of whatever you're shooting at, whether it's a clay pigeon or a game bird or a pigeon. Okay, now do a, a low driven coming over your head. But again, smooth and deliberate. Good, try again. Just imagine it's coming straight over you. Good, okay. Good, and now have two practice straight in front of the mirror. Again. Good. It's quite interesting when you're doing it. It's sometimes you, f you blink, but it's just, again, it's yeah. you're waiting for the recoil. Yeah. If you can keep your head a little bit more forwards for that low out in front, and the muzzle end up just at eye light. That's good. Great. Okay, that was perfect mount, perfect head position, safety catch. Here we go. Great. Alrighty. Um, so the next next thing we'd like to do is is we take you down to the to the shooting area where the pattern plate is. Yeah. I just just for both both parties, so we can see see the fit of the gun, see where the gun's actually shooting. Okay. Okay. Great. Well done, John. Thank you.